Hello, this is Uncle Russ. Welcome to the newest episode of Uncle Russ's Comic Talk. Today, we are going to be talking about more 1990s image comic goodness. And we also, very excited to let you know that we're going to be talking briefly with Ming Chen from the AMC series Comic Book Men. You also may have seen him in the in the Clerks films. He's a really, really nice guy. Had a chance to meet him at the Des Moines Comic Con. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ming Chen from AMC's Comic Book Men, and this is a Lock 22 production. First up today, we have more 1990s image comics available today. This is... Mark Silvestri's autograph on Cyberforce number one comes with an authentic, uh, a certificate of authenticity that's uh, signed and numbered and stamped with the photograph of Mark Silvestri, who is the writer and the artist on this. This is a beautiful wraparound cover. For those of you who pay attention to details that know about these, this is the first printing. The ad insert is completely intact. Mark Silvestri's autograph on Cyberforce number one can be yours for $39.99. And we're back to Savage Dragon again this week. Eric Larson's creation, this time crossing over with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the uh, crossover that was published by Mirage Publishing in 1993, published by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. Their first crossover with Savage Dragon. This can be yours for the low price of $4.99. More Savage Dragon from Eric Larson and Image Comics. 1993. This is the first printing of Savage Dragon number two. Featuring an appearance by the Teenage Mutant and Ninja Turtles. This has also got a story that serves as a flip book on the other side. Vanguard number zero. This one is a really good buy. The low price of $3.99. Here's a one-shot from 1993. Image published quite a few of these little one-shot crossovers. This is the most unusual of them and probably my favorite. The Savage Dragon versus the Savage Megaton Man. Written and drawn by both Eric Larson and the incomparable unbelievable, outrageous Don Simpson. If you've seen any of his work, you know how outrageous it is. Very, very funny stuff that you either get it or you don't. This is a nice little uh, treat, $4.99. Here we've got another Jim Lee cover, Stormwatch, number one. This is the first printing. This is also from 1993. Uh, Stormwatch, these characters have now been incorporated into, sort of folded into the modern day DC universe. Uh, they have the rights to publish these now. And so, uh, we have Brandon Choi and Jim Lee as co-creators and the writer of the story. Scott Williams, uh, I'm sorry, Scott, Cl Scott Clark on pencils and Trevor Scott on inks. This is a really nice little book to have. Very, very inexpensive, only $2.99. If you're a fan of Image Comics, you may be a fan of Rob Liefeld. Here's a good example of some of his best work. Supreme, Volume 2, Issue Number 1. Rob Liefeld was the creator, writer, and ink inker with uh, pencils done by Brian Murray. This got a hard... Uh, cardstock cover. It's embossed. Supreme number one. Only $9.99. Hello, everybody. It's Ben Shrewsbury. This is Uncle Russ. And we are the Two Marks from the Two Marks and a Spark Wrestling Show right here on Lock 22. Be sure to check us out every single Sunday and sometimes Monday for all your professional wrestling needs only on youtube.com slash lock 22.
And we have another beautiful copy of Wildcats number one, first printing from 1992. The difference is this one is autographed by the creator and the artist, Jim Lee. Beautiful book. Really nice to have his autograph. One of the best artists of the 1990s era. My personal favorite from that era. This one comes with a certificate of authenticity. And they both can be yours for the low price of $39.99. And would you believe even another variant of Wildcats number one, first printing, autographed by Jim Lee. The great artist we were just talking about. This one is even more rare, hard to come by. Has the embossed gold foil cover. This one is sought after by Image and Jim Lee collectors. This one, $89.99. And if you're looking for this in your collection, it's worth every penny. And another rare edition of Wildcats number six. First printing with the gold embossed cover. Once again, the work is the same team that made this book so great. Brandon Choi, Jim Lee, and Scott Williams. This one's a little harder to come by, but it's still a good buy if you're looking for this in your image collection. $39.99. And finally this week, another rare edition of an issue of Wildcats, issue number seven from Image Comics, first printing. This one is very hard to come by. It has the silver embossed cover. They didn't print very many of these. Once again, you have the stellar team of Brandon Choi, Jim Lee, and Scott Williams. This one could fill that hole in your collection for $49.99. I was very glad to attend the Des Moines Comic Con last weekend, and we had the privilege of meeting Ming Chen from the AMC hit TV series Comic Book Men. It was really a great, great time to hang out with him. We got to meet him. We have an interview. I'm going to play an excerpt of that interview we did where we talked about this week's subject, the revolution in the 1990s of Image Comics. Like, uh, Jim Lee worked in comic books, he's a great artist, but the man's got a Lamborghini, so he did something right. He's a geek oh, yeah, that owns exotic cars now. That tells a lot, I think. That's an expensive lot. collectible. Yes, it is. Definitely. That, are buying cars. Yes, yeah, he loves cars. He loves high-end cars. One more yeah. question for this segment. Yes. Ming, being a comic book man, do you remember in the 90s when Image Comics launched, <laughs> and what do you think about that? Uh, I remember Image Comics launched, uh, I was introduced to them at a new comic book shop that just opened in my area, and they were like, listen, you're, you're going to want to, this is a new line, you're going to want to read this, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I have most of the titles, but you know, Spawn, Gen I, I read, I love Gen 13, I get made fun of it all the time. <laughs> yeah. but, Not from this group. Yeah, but my, yeah, my friends were like, you know, there are only two reasons you love Gen 13, I'm like, yeah, yeah, they're the right reasons. Yes. Child, man. That's right. Yeah. yeah, but I, you know, to, before then it was just all superheroes, right? Yeah. And now I hear stories about you know a guy coming back from hell to avenge his death, and and you know and and, and uh, you know a, a, a super team of like kind of not quite X Men mutants, like or like super hot I guess X Men right. type yes. mutants. I'm all for it, man. But I, at the time, up until then, I kind of fell out of comics because I didn't have money. I was going to college. Uh, all my money went into books and stuff like that. Sure. Michigan and, University, yeah, baby. U of M. And then well, you, know, you know, the textbook, college textbooks, that's the biggest game going, yeah. you know. Yeah, but so like Image and, uh, you know, Vertigo, DC Vertigo, brought me back into comics way, like way, way in a big way. So awesome. I, them, I, mean, I, I definitely have them to thank. Sure. Cool. Well, stay, stay tuned uh, in the weeks to come for Uncle Russ's comic doc because we've got a ton of mint bagged and boarded uh, Image Comics from the early Amazing. 90s. Lots and lots of stuff. We've got some autograph material. We've got variant covers. If you're an Image nerd from the 90s, you're going to want to stay tuned. Hopefully you found something that you like today. If you'd like to purchase any of these books, check for the links in the description below. 
There'll be more books for sale every week. Lot 22 sellers on eBay. Lock 22, have a good day. Lock.